Right, guys. So, again, based on the limitation that you've seen on your Pinoy test, we've identified in this case that there's a weakness or a lack of ability to shift the air in and out because there's a weakness through your diaphragm or your inspiratory or your, your muscles that breathe the air in or your expiratory muscles. Okay, so once we've identified that from your test, we need to train you on this. So it's like training any muscle. It just takes a bit of practice to get into the swing of it. Those muscles get stronger and then they start performing better. So it's the very same principle about training any muscle. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do inspiratory and expiratory strength. So I'm going to have to force out and in. So I'm putting in a lot of work in this. Okay. And it's very common to feel like stretch achiness all over your back and neck after doing the first session or two of this. It's kind of like a DOMS, but your respiratory muscles and all the other muscles that complement that respiratory system are working hard. And that's why you feel the DOMS. So we'll go inspirator, expiratory strength, start that. And I'm going to do 25 breaths at 34 uh, centimeter of, of uh, water here. <coughs> So um, 10 reps of that, it's telling me I was very good, it was giving me the green light and then when I stop, it tells me to breathe harder and so on. So it cues you what to do. And once we start you off, we have to crack volumes first before we do anything. Then we go on to the strength element of it. Okay, so, and then once we've ticked all these boxes, you're gonna start seeing your performance improve because your ability to bring oxygen to the tissues that are exercising and take uh, metabolites of exercise away is going to improve performance it's going to improve recovery and improve overall health okay so this is how we use inspiratory or expiratory or both um, respiratory training with, with the p100 